Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Dragon Quest XI. Apparently, even though I saved in there, I, uh, I load out here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. So we were, we were already in here. The door won't budge. We saved here. We looted downstairs. So now we're going to go and loot the throne room and bedrooms on the left. So they want us to go to the left. We're going to go to the right. And we're going to see what's going on there. I was taking aback a bit when we loaded up and we were standing in front of uh, Dark Knight Dad. Oh, look. But I guess everything's fine. Recipes? Oh, it looks like an old diary of Ravs. Kronos takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Ever since the day I seated, seated the throne to young Erwin, the lad has poured his heart and soul into making Dundasil the greatest kingdom it could possibly be. He has never raised... Uh, as He was never raised as royalty, and I must admit I share some of my subjects' doubts about whether he or not whether or not he could truly, he was truly suited to, to rule at first. But now I know I've made the right choice. He soon gained their trust and respect, and mine as well. The entire nation is united behind him. My dear Eleanor has made a very fine choice as of husband indeed, which means I can get on with enjoying my retirement. Well, short-lived retirement, really. But I guess technically you're not a ruler anymore, but you are traveling around fighting the Lord of Shadows, which... Sounds way worse than retirement. <laughs> He's been hiding magazines. Uh, are they there? They are there. That's actually hilarious. Oh, poor Rab. He's not hurting anyone. He's just a weird pervert. Let's go down to Eleanor's room. I guess this is the first physical encounter with Mum, right? We've heard her voice before, which I guess is the from the letter and the the voice that she's taught. Hey, who says you're a silent protagonist? Actually, now that I think about it, your child form had words too. So yeah. Oh, he's so tiny. Can I touch him, Lady Eleanor? I promise I'll be careful. Hmm. I won't crush and kick him. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. He oh, that wasn't her voice. <laughs> He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. I hope I just grow up. <laughs> King Erwin! Colloquy's about to start, Eleanor. You know, he looks so different than what I'd imagine my dad looked like. Uh, it's not... Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? That was weird. He looked like he was holding me... He looked like he was holding him by, like, one side and, like, grasping his head. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. <sighs> Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making I, me feel uneasy. I love thunderstorms, so I'm alright with it. Come on now, Helena. There's nothing to worry about. I mean, we'll there is. Safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? Uh, you know, don't make promises you can't hold up, seeing how this is the past. And what 
about me, hmm? Hey, you don't need me to protect you, Jade. Ah, uh, yeah, you do. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. Given he has the power of darkness on his side. <laughs> right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Elena. Good luck. Both of you. We're gonna need it. Alright, so, any vases? Barrels? Book? Book of Erdwin. Takes it from the shelf and he has a clue. Chapter 1, Song of Beginnings. World Tree's Gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast, though the dark one bleak black vast. Chapter 3, Song of Prayer. World Tree's foot, a plea, a prayer, ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born, trees will reveal. Serenica, luminary shield. The book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Kronos carefully closes it. And Jade and Mother freak out because the book was just floating in air. Anything interesting in here? Thank you for the jewel, I guess. Hi, Mom. Yes, it's your son. Ah, That's sad. Yeah. Yeah, eventually. So I guess we are not really playing together in this journey. It's more of we're fighting alongside each other. Though we did have a nice brotherly sister hug when we were falling to our deaths. We didn't die, though. Unless we did, and this is all just a dream. I'm assuming we're going to the council. I guess I could have talked to the pink bubble man. Excuse me. Coming through. This child, he is the one? He bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. That's a tiny basket. Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. Okay. That's a stretch on the last word there. Light's mark shineth, hand extendeth. With his coming, black night endeth. Do you have to end everything with this? The final poem in the Book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the Dark One was defeated by the Luminary in the Age of Heroes, bringing eternal peace to the world. Hmm, sounds like they didn't know the definition of eternal. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, monsters walk the land once more. The peace of Erdria is under threat. The kingdom of Svadzrust has already fallen at the wicked. Swadrus. Gotta try to remember that. King Arnut with it. He will be sorely missed. Uh, oh, so that place was already destroyed by this time. Has been born who bears the mark. Which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? Mm -hmm. So he was already possessed at this time, right? Of the Dark One, of monsters running wild, of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely, the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. I mean, that would be accurate, kind of. Now that the Luminary is among us, the balance can be restored, the peace can be maintained. All is well, is it not? Eventually. He is just a baby. <laughs> You believe that the presence of the Luminary will ensure that peace prevails. Can you be certain? He's gonna need a lot of training. Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. 
the very first poem, the prophecy. Didn't I just read that? Well, tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. What are the two of you implying? That the luminary causes the appearance of the dark one? I thought they were like just connected, right? Without one can appear without the other. Cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. This has always been the way of the world. Darkness and light must coexist. So, indeed, the birth of the luminary may well be what causes the dark one to awaken. Or vice versa. You don't you don't know it for sure, but yes, they both appear at the same time. You dare to imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles? That the Luminary isn't a force for good? I like to think neutral Are evil. certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form, after all. Yeah, it could be like a king sitting at a table. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. I feel like we should have heard about this Erdwin's Lantern, like, at the beginning of the game. What are you trying to... <laughs> Lightning just crashes down through the table and kills them all. Oh. The star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdrius' destruction. Are you sure you just aren't a creepy old man? Because you seem like a creepy old man. King Gustav is right. Ah, oh, don't you start. Ominous footsteps approach. We all hear them. As the leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! Yeah, yeah, this dinner got awkward. Happened. Not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. A great, blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. The child is a force for good. I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. Light and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A gift that will cleanse the world of I mean, evil. I mean, yeah. I mean, light and dark are kind of the two sides of the same, but I mean, they are, they are opposites. So, you I mean, that, that thing is true, but, like, at the same time, I am here to cleanse the world with my vast, blinding light. If I actually had any of the luminary power, I don't actually, that's unfortunate. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course, if you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. Um, so, are you not possessed right now? The luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. So, no. 
I hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I would have had the guards arrest you guys like instantly if I was him. That would have caused like a world war, but at the same time, I'm satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. We must confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. King Carnelian. Everyone. I... I don't know what to say. Uh, Are you possessed right now? Ah, very good. The most pressing item on our agenda is dealt with. And it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> I don't think you knew anything. Now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. That is a tiny baby. <laughs> Let all be as Idrisil wills it. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the luminary to his adoring public. Cronus is standing there like, huh? What are we gonna have for dinner? Mm. Thank you, King Carnelian. My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Now, the uh, monster attack. Y your Majesty. Uh, 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 what is it? Y you must flee the palace immediately. Monsters, hundreds, hundreds of. Monsters! Ugh. Well, at least you made it here to die. Oh, some of them are easy. Like that one swimming in the air. That's hilarious. We're under attack. Everyone, we have to get out of here now. All right, where are we going? Where's Rad? Sultan, what are you doing, dog? Oh, Sultan. I'll come I'll come visit you in the real world. I like your helmet. Where are you from again? What castle what what region do you rule? I don't, I don't remember hearing of you at all throughout this entire game. Was it Sniffleheim? Oh, it was Sniffleheim, wasn't it? Oh, he dead. I'm right here. They have come in force, but they shall not have the child. Lord Robert and I will keep them at bay. Take Eleanor and the child and flee the castle. Now! Hmm. King Carnelian, this is suicide. Oh, right in the junk. You need not fret on my behalf. I am not in my dotage just yet. I don't know what that means. Thank also, you. Rab, you should probably have a staff and start slinging magic around. You're not very good at physical fighting like Jade. Though you did teach her everything she knows, so that's... I mean, I guess you are kind of flail. A uh, flail. Frail. Hello. Throne room. Hello. Yeah. Alright. Hi. I'm the Luminary, and I got two swords. You're you're gonna die. Oh, you're so dead. Am I changing the past now? Or is this one of those It already happened, so I'm not changing anything. Alright, that's fine. I got was super, super easy. So we're going to the throne room? It's over there. Hi! Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm gonna save many of these people that are probably already dead. Just because I can. 
Oh, I'm all pepped up. You know what that means, right? Not nothing really. It just means I'm gonna attack you. Oh, <laughs> it means I'm gonna crit on you. I need the extra experience, anyways. I mean, do I? I'm kind of lower level compared to everyone else, but to be honest, the hero in every Dragon Quest game is usually the slowest leveling one for the most part. You guys all right? <laughs> uh, I like that. It's like, man, huh? I was about to kill him and then he just dropped dead. When we saw the monsters coming, we feared the worst for you both. Never mind that now. We need to get out of here, all of us. Come on. <laughs> no matter what happens, I will get you out of here. I promise. I think I have that same hood, Mom. Hmm. And Jade. Oh, I should put on my hood. Yeah, so we can, like... Do I have that on me? I don't have my hood on me! Oh, wait, is it... Then in here? Yeah. Oh, but we're not gonna put it up. Oh, that's dumb. Fine. I wanted to fit in with the family. Where are we going? Do you guys know where they went? Assuming the monsters would have been gone by now if we didn't kill them. Oh, hello. Downstairs. Oh, did we go downstairs? I don't think we did. We might have went downstairs. Oh, no, no, we did, we did. I, there was barrels down there or something, right? God, I am so good at this game. Ooh, that one gave a decent amount of experience points, actually. You're welcome. I got the Weeb Blighter. You didn't really get him, but I got him. Anybody for me to kill in here? I mean, maybe. But that would be a different game. There are more... Oh, are you dead? Nah, I don't think that is a no. Oh, you killed the old woman! Oh, you're pretending to be dead. Oh, before the hero Hendrik even shows up. Oh! Man, Hendrik, how old are you? You must be, like, in your late teens, 20s then at this point, huh? I think Jade was supposed to be, like, 6 or something at this point, right? Six or seven. Seems older. But they usually do in video games. And I, I'm, I'm just a bad gauge of age in general when it comes to video game characters. Huh? You did it! Holy crap, you... You did it! I didn't think it was possible for anyone but me to kill monsters in this stream. Yeah, I got these parts already. Alright, let's go downstairs. Are you still here? I mean, he's gone. There's literally no monsters left to feign death from. He is dead. That man is dead. You're right. I should have saved. That's another thing I should have done. We should be able to get out through here. Oh, I'm digging the Falcon Sword. Has a different handle than mine. Is it a very advanced? I mean, did you guys forget to change my diaper? Is that different from mine? I thought I had a blue handle. Good hit. The monsters are everywhere. What 
What are we going to do, Erwin? Uh, boom them all. Ooh, they do the boom! The castle. They must have the place surrounded. We'll have to use the tunnels. This way. Jade just prancing behind. Oh, no, it's the same handle. That's disappointing. I was kind of hoping I was about to get a nice weapon. So, yeah, we check down here. I'm going to save this poor lady because she's about to get burned to a crisp. Hello, flamethrower. I mean, you should really just leave. You stood no chance. You're welcome. Oh, oh, that dude that was flirting with you. Oh, man. Hopefully you got killed. Do you get this? I thought dad just killed you, but I'll, I'll go ahead and kill you myself. Roar. I'm a shield face. Please crit him. Ah. Yeah. There we go. Not that much experience. The the blue devil dude up above. You alright? Yeah, but now you have time to breathe and escape. Right? Come on now. Just like group up and just like run for it or protect this door. You can do it. I believe in you. The luminary believes in you. Are you the dude that was flirting with her? You were. That's sad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've never been in that situation before, but I'm gonna judge you for leaving her all by herself. Wait a minute. I think this was the one. This is not what I wanted to do. I wanted I wanted to fight that monster. Quickly, in we go. Before the monsters find us. Now let me turn around and kill that guy. Why, Kronos? Well Why not? Right? They're having a hard time with him. It's not like it's going to take me more than a second to kill him. These guys are easy. Just send a dog after him. They'll be dead. Or I can just crit him like that. Twice! Hey! Beast Blaster! Ooh! Nice! Trophy. Silver trophy, really? I don't, I don't, I'm not much of an achievement type of guy. Like, I like getting achievements, but at the same time, I don't really care. Spark of Hope. That's my title, Spark of Hope. I mean, at least it's not Chicken Chaser. This is where we fought him, right? Okay, so we're going to see him get stuck. Or, not stuck, but killed, or... Otherwise contained fighting monsters. Hi rats, how's it going? Yeah, why are there sheets down here? Are homeless people living here? You know, being homeless in a world that has monsters seems awful. Like, I know it's dangerous to sleep in the wilderness in general because of wild animals. It really depends on where you are. But Time to make a break for it. if I'm going to sleep and all of a sudden like a behemoth is going to show up and try to eat my ass... I don't know. <laughs> that does not sound good. Oh, it's Grandpa. Get out of here quickly. But Erwin. Run and don't look back. I feel like I should put on that armor. Despicable creatures. Do your worst. You won't get past me. I mean, you're not wrong. They don't. How's it going, Dad? Alright, well, I guess I'll fight all of you? Yeah? I feel like I'm changing the past a little bit too much. Oh, hi, Dad! How's it going? Uh, you know what? Yeah, Quadra Slash. Ow. 
I was actually hoping for 300 damage there. Man, you should have your son show you how, to re how it re really works. Maybe I should have used Giga Slash, because that does way more damage than that. Man, this spell is not good. You swooshing? Well, too bad. Giga Slash. Yeah, Giga Slash is way better. So much for Erdwin's ultimate technique. They said it gets stronger as you use it. It's, did you just attack a ghost, by the way? See, Dad? That's how it's done. You triple your damage. Ow. It's not over yet. I mean, are you talking to me or you? And stay down. Right. Time to get after Elena. <laughs> King Carnelian? Over here, your majesty. Uh, so you, you definitely were possessed then. Because you're about to betray this man. kind of want to go after Jade and Mom and save them. But of course we can't do that, huh? I was just about to ask how this tombstone got here. Are we going back to the castle or just this room? Just this room. King Carnelian? What in that? Oh, so you weren't possessed. All right. Who are you? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Your Majesty. Stab him, quick. Erwin. Is that you? What happened? Is everyone safe? You're all right. Thank goodness. Jade's with Eleanor and the Wee One, Your Majesty. They made it safely out of the castle. You could have just said your son. If, if, you, if you're not going to say, like, good. Kronos. Very good. You're going to stab him, aren't you? I shall send my forces after them right away. Your Majesty, what do you... Yeah. Kronos, you knew this was happening. How could you not know this was going to happen? Must have went through the side or underneath. The bloodline of the luminary ends here. Nope. Today. Uh-uh. King Carnelian? Your Majesty? Oh, is that Hendrik? Sire. Man, you look just as old as you did do now. Forgive me. I was unable to find you. I thank the heavens that you are unhurt. <gasps> King, King Erwin. What has happened here? I had no choice. He came at me in a frenzy. Queen Eleanor has absconded with the Luminary. And with my daughter. Surely not. Whatever would possess them to commit such acts. The birth of the child has put them both under great pressure. It has also caused the coming of the monsters. The loss of countless lives. Perhaps the coming of the Luminary does bring darkness in its wake. After all, without him, this tragedy would never have come to pass. Also, Hendrik, you knew about this? And you didn't tell me that, that Carnelian killed my dad? I mean, we know it's not really Carnelian at this yes. point. I see now. 
He is not our savior. He is the harbinger of the night to come. The child of evil. The dark spawn. I mean, I agree, but at the same time. He must be found and dealt with. The peace of Erdria must not be permitted to collapse. Find him. Leave no stone unturned. Sire. Just gonna leave my dad there. I mean, that's all right. He kind of lives as a tormented soul. He is no harbinger of darkness. He is the luminary, the savior. Someone, please. King Carnelian must be stopped, or the world will be plunged in, into darkness. I mean, you're not wrong. Elena, please, forgive me. I mean, what? I was too weak. You were kind of, like, caught off guard. At the same time, though, you did see this, this dude turn into smoke and then enter his body. You probably should have just stabbed him as soon as you ran up to him. But that probably would have caused, like, a huge rift between you and Heliodor, but at the same time... Nothing probably would have happened. Like, Mordegon probably would have just... He would have left the dead body, right? It's not like he would have died. Huh? Is that, that's probably true, right? Alright, Hendrik. You got some explaining to do. Ooh, uh, hello. Nice butt. I'm gonna just heal real fast. That's a lovely sound. And you make a lot of noise doing it. And this one's misery is just exquisite. His kingdom ruined. His family gone. Betrayed. Dying alone. This is true. Which is why I've been drawing out his torture for all these years. One must savor such succulent suffering. To be fair, you're getting like, what, a 16-year meal out of this dude? But even the most fabulous feasts must come to an end. It is time to move on to the next course. Is it me? That's not very smart of you, man. How does your despair compare, I wonder? Hold still while I sample its delight. You know I'm gonna stab you at least four times in a row, right? No? Okay, apparently yes. This is your most painful memory. The darkest, tenderest recess of your soul. Really? Because I thought it was going to be like when I thought Sandy and Gemma were dead. And Mom. Like we should have stabbed this guy already. You could not protect your friends. You could not save the world. What kind of hero are you? A reluctant one? Pathetic. 
wallow in it. Marinate yourself in misery. Yes. My mouth begins to water. I need an adult? Why have we not stabbed yet? Kronos, we're good at stabbing. Am I about to get my powers back? Can you hear me? Please, you must listen. Are you my mummy? There is a light inside you that can never be extinguished. It is waiting, biding its time. But it is there, and when it shines forth, it will illuminate the world. I get it, because I'm the luminary. Now is that time. You are the luminary. You must conquer the darkness. You must shine. This light is... You remind me of the Cowardly Lion. Wait, did I actually get sucked into his face? I just kind of thought I was like collapsing next to him and going on a vision quest. Laddie, are you all right? Maybe. <sighs> this light, disgusting. It blinds me. It fills my mouth. It tastes of hope. And no one likes him in Final Fantasy 13. This is the beast responsible for King Erwin's suffering. We must defeat it and lift his majesty's curse. Yeah? I guess this can be a long episode today. You dare disturb me while I prepare to sample the next delicious morsel of misery. No matter. Your screams of agony will surely whet my appetite. Why did you say wet with a WH? You're like a wet stone, but at the same time. You weird son of a... Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna go ahead and accelerate. We're gonna sap him if we can. And then Hendrik and Kronos are going to go all out. Because that's what they do, baby. Ow. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I mean, I think Falcon Slash does a slight more damage, but my normal crit seems to work fairly often. Yeah, that's good. Hendrix, cut above, please. Thank you. Yeah, that is just arousing. Okay, Oomful Hendrick, because he's going to go next. We'll multi heal with Rab. Pull your socks up. Pull your socks up. What? Uh, oh, you dick. All right, yeah. You cut above. Because that is just fantastic. Um, you're still asleep. You heal. I'm going to accelerate again. Yes. And that will bring everyone up to an all off of them stance. Ow. Do you really have to put them asleep like that? 
Well, Hendrick's gonna wake up next time. Pet power, fizz whiz. But he's asleep. Does he not be... Does he wake up? Okay. I'm gonna say. Uh, you go ahead and... I almost said lick Kronos. Don't lick Kronos. Not right now. We're in the middle of combat. Um, so that was just renewed, right? So we... Let's go on the safe side and heal. He could crit Kronos and then do like a... A stupid attack. He's not oofled yet. He'll be oofled next time. Great job. Alright. Kill him. If you can. That was, that was really good. Uh, I guess wake him up before you go go. Multi-heal seems to be doing the job, though we are weakened with healing now, aren't we? Yeah! Okay, he's almost dead. Man, I apparently really sequence breaks with that dragon, because that dragon was, like, way harder than the la these last two bar boss fights. Victory! And also gave way more experience points. Good job on the level up, Kronos. I forget what we're saving up for, for with you. Uh, we'll worry about that next time, I think. Whoa! Thought you didn't have your mustache for a second, like, you shaved? Eyes. I'd know them anywhere. I mean, that's a stretch seeing how I was a tiny baby last time you saw me. You could have just been like, oh, the mark on your hand. I've known that anywhere. Son, is it really you? Please let me say no. Damn it. It was you who saved me, wasn't it? So are you alive or are you kind of like dying now? You're back to your old self at last. Oh. Eleanor? Our son has freed you. Despair no longer holds you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. Question. Uh, I thought the afterlife was currently in shambles due to Yggdrasil being all destroyed. Or was that just something Pangling was telling me to confuse me? turn away sometimes farewell my darling I love you so much ah can I get the power of the luminary again goodbye my I actually kind of want to start investing in it goodbye, oh they did not acknowledge you at all <laughs> both of you find peace at last Your 
the mark. It's glowing again. Your powers, they're back. Dope. The luminary is restored to us. And all thanks to his honored parents. So, Hendrik, you knew that my dad was killed by King Onelian? You didn't say anything? Well, I guess if I wasn't saving up for anything, then I could simply... Uh... Try building that. So, Octagonia, huh? Yeah, we can go to Octagonia. Knight of the Living Dread, awarded for saving King Erwin from endless reli uh, reliving the night endlessly reliving the nightmarish events of the fateful evening long ago. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh, it has gotten bigger. That is what she said. Yeah. What is this? What's this? Peppa Power. Ooh. Oh, these are like the original ones, right? No, this is the original one. What do we got? Oh, we got all this stuff? It's gonna be great. Magical mending, absolutely charm. I don't know if I need that for anything. What are you gonna choose? What, what was I saving up for? Was it this? No. Was it this? No, I got that. Was it this? Giga Gash? No, that's new. Uh, batters all enemies with bolts of blazing lightning. Yes. Single standard to one seem a lot better seeing how they just hit all enemies. Though eventually I'm going to want this strength over here. Alright, so what are we going to, what are we going to level up? Do we go this way? Learn zap. We go down here. We don't have enough to do that, but sure, why not? I could save up for Giga Gash, you're right. I probably should. Should I? I probably should. That 5% chance is probably good, though. Mm, yeah, that's probably fine. That's kind of disappointing. Let's go ahead and go to the Dundersal campsite, and then we'll head north to Octagonia next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you hit my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's true you're liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on over to twitch.tv slash Get my channel followed to be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.